Good morning, and thanks for making Ecoboom.tv part of your morning routine. I'm Ruben, and this is Joan Romero, and today we're going to talk about going good to great. So let's get down to business. You're a good business, but you want to be great? Well, you know, there's a um, book. It's called Good to Great. Probably a lot of you have heard about it. It's by um, Jim Collins. And uh, he basically discusses what makes a good company go and become a great company. You know, so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the factors that are in the book of what makes a company go from good to great. Um, and, you know, one of, I think, the interesting uh, points that he makes in the book is the thing that he found that kept most businesses from becoming great is the fact that they're good. You know, I think that they're just, they're good enough, right? And nobody wants to be known as the person who ruined something good, you know? So there's a lot of, a little bit of caution that, hey, look, we're, we do this good. We're pretty good. Let's not rock the boat. Don't mess Let's, it up. Don't mess it up. And there's no need to take risks. You know, we're good. So we have a good business. We're paying our bills. We're paying our people. We're growing steadily over time. You know, there's no reason to rock the boat. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Don't mess it up. It's like for all of you parents out there, you'll know it. It's like when, you're, when your child falls asleep and your other kids are like, Don't wake them up <laughs> like don't wake up the baby yeah like maybe they're like sleeping in some weird position be like don't touch them don't try to fix it don't, don't try to tuck them in they're sleeping just leave them alone let, let them go maybe <laughs> it's good maybe put a blanket on them if it's cold but that's it and even that even that's risky right even that's risky um but yeah but if nobody wants to be that person that messes up the business and so they you get cautious, you know, so that's one of the biggest thing that keeps a good company from becoming great. Mm -hmm. But there are some other in interesting things in the book where he discusses um, what makes those great companies great. What are some of the qualities that they have that the good companies don't have? <coughs> Excuse me. And I think one of the most interesting parts that make a great company great is that they've got a balance of two people in the business that really kind of uh, set the tone for the business. They have the person that works inside the business, like a COO, that makes sure everything runs well, that nothing gets overlooked, that things happen exactly the way they're supposed to happen. And then they have the CEO, which is the visionary, the person moving forward, the person that's going to take, you know, take a few risks, try a few new things out, and um, really set the vision for the company. And so you have that. So the person on up, a, you know, sort of has that view of the future and where they're at. And the other person is in there making sure the machine is well oiled and running the way it's supposed to. And, and you know, everyone's happy and this is working the way it's supposed to. And, OK, we've got this mandate. So we're going to do it this way because this is the most efficient way of doing it. So a good business would just have... Maybe that inside person, but not necessarily the steering person. Or... Right. Or you could have the two people, but they're not the right people. They're not, it's not the right balance. Mm. So it's very, it's very much about the balance of that person who really works in there in the business, make sure everything's works, works well. And that other person who's the visionary who can take the business where it needs to go. Okay. And then the communication between those two people where this person's saying, I see the market moving this way, or I see where we could, you know, break out and do something else. Yeah, obviously the they need to. Says, they, okay, they, how can we? How how does this all fit? And maybe they just have to take one part of that vision, or anyway. So that's what you're talking about, like the energy of those two. Yeah, obviously they have to work together and they have to work well together. Um, when that could be that they just they work things out well between each other. Or often what happens is you have the CEO who, um, you know, the person, the visionary who takes it and he's a strong enough personality that the, the other person will follow, will lead, mm. you know, and like, or, oh, or they're, they're a great follower so that they can, they can say, okay, I see what you're going to, I see what you're saying. I want to take you there. 
you know, and they go in and they make it, they make how everything work do that? to push things in that direction. And then that's how they become great. That's how they become great. And stay great. And stay they great. Greater. Right. So, you know, I guess our question is for a lot of our, you know, for our subscribers, for those people out there who have businesses, you know, um, is your business good? Is it great? Um, what makes it great? Are, you know, do you have that balance of people? And, I, and again, it's not so much about, I guess when they say great, everyone feels like they have a great business, right? A great product, a great business. Um, I hope most people, I would say, at least feel that way. Um, but I think what they're really talking about is that this business is not just great because it has a great product, but it's great because its growth is so um, abnormal. That's how they're <laughs> defining great. Is that it's a well their, their business. growth is where other people are kind of maybe growing or steadily moving along, that they are just way ahead of the curve in their growth and their revenue. All those kinds of things are just sort of beyond average. You know, when I think about a great business, though, I also think well-rounded. Like, you think, oh, this is a great business to work for, or this is a great business to work with. Or this is a great business to invest in. You know, like there's lots of different avenues and maybe that's where that CEO um, person can kind of get out of the business and look at it from different angles saying, okay, now we have a great product. How do we get great customers? Okay, let's work on that. So maybe it's all these multiple layers of becoming more and more great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, right. Well, because you have that person who has the vision to make it better, and you have that person who has the tenacity to get in there and form the company to that vision and, yeah. and make it work and make sure it's always working and functioning the way it's supposed to. So, you know, if you, if you feel like you don't have that in your business, maybe you need a partner. Maybe you need somebody else. But we'd love to hear what you think about you know some of those topics that we've talked or if you've read the book some other of the topics that are covered in the book um so you know let us know what you think yeah thanks so much for subscribing liking and please share what you think in the comments below have a great day